everything I learned was from Khan Academy, Coursera, EDX, the internet, guys. The internet has all the experts that you need for free. So no, you don't need experts or you don't need expert help to homeschool or unschool. It's actually pretty easy. Number six, which brings me to my sixth point. Homeschooling or unschooling is only for rich people or upper middle class people or privileged people. It's expensive. It's not. Like I said, you have the internet, you have people from Stanford, MIT, Ivy League schools basically teaching you for free on the internet. So no, it's not expensive. Everyone today has a smartphone with data and it's just about how you use it and how you economize. Um, a lot of the things that you want, you can learn from free for free on the internet and it's actually pretty easy. So it's actually relatively inexpensive, I guess, to homeschool. I mean, in comparison to like, you know, paying one lakh rupees every year for your school fee. I mean, I think homeschooling is much cheaper than that. Okay, number seven, homeschooling, unschooling inhibits social development. Also, a miss. Uh, there's a lot of research that actually proves the opposite. Um, but speaking from personal experience, when you're homeschooled or unschooled, you're actually interacting with people from a very vast age range and from like a lot of different backgrounds. And you're like actually interacting with a lot of diverse people because you're out in the real world. Whereas in school, you're only interacting with people who are the same age as you, which means they're mostly going through the same things that you're going through. Um, also, because of the fact that they're so like fees are so high for private schools um, in India, especially. Um, you're also interacting with people who come from the same demographic as you do and, you know, people who have the same things in life that you have or are going through the same things or come from a similar upbringing. And how exactly does that help social development? Because when you're out in the real world, you're actually, you have to work with people that are younger than you, older than you, people who you might not understand because they come from a different place or background or upbringing. And that's what homeschooling does or unschooling does is that you're out in the world and interacting with all these real life people who are from so many diverse backgrounds and it actually does not inhibit social development it actually helps which brings me to my eighth point which is that unschooled or homeschooled kids are not prepared for the real world again i think a lot of these myths also stem from the fact that when you say homeschooling people always think that you're studying at home which is not the truth. You're actually out there in the real world and learning in real time, not inside four walls from nine to five. So you're not waiting for after five to step out into the real world or till you turn 18. Homeschooled kids are actually out in the real world working and experiencing that way early on than people who go to school are. So I think if anything, it's that school is not preparing you for the real world, but homeschooling and unschooling is because you're actually out in the real world. That's where you're learning. That's where you're working. So number nine. Okay, so I heard this a lot before I got into college that um, just because I was homeschooled or unschooled that I wasn't equipped for college or that I wouldn't do well or succeed because I wasn't prepared for it having not gone to traditional school. And even after college, a lot of people asked me, oh, was it difficult for you because you were homeschooled? No, it was actually easier. You know why? Because no one gives a shit about you in college. It's not like school where you have teachers who are constantly reminding you about assignments and where you're only 30 or 40 people in a room 
studying from one teacher and being used to being spoon fed. College is 100, 145, 300 people. I think in my biggest class, we had 300 people in the same room studying from the same professor, um, which means that you don't really get that time to interact with your teacher or the professor doesn't have time to spoon feed you things. Which means that a lot of the times you are self-learning. You're going back, re-watching lectures, rereading your textbook, and trying to learn everything on your own. And which is basically what I did the four years before college as well when I was homeschooled. I was learning on my own. I was figuring stuff out by myself. I didn't have anyone there to sort of solve everything for me. So actually it sort of made college easier for me because I was already doing what everyone had to now do in college and people weren't used to doing that. And I actually saw a lot of my peers struggle with that because they were so used to having things spoon fed to them. And, you know, they were so used to depending on someone else to learn. So they actually struggled a lot the first semester of college. Whereas for me, it was pretty easy because I was used to it. Which brings me to my last myth, the 10th one, um, which is that there is only one right way to homeschool or unschool, or there's like a one size fits all method. Um, like I said, homeschooling, unschooling is absolutely different from school. And there is no one right way to do it. Um, I have parents come and ask me or my parents, you homeschooling And the answer to that is you have to figure it out on your own. There's no one size fits all. There's no step by step way that you're supposed to homeschool or unschool your kid. You just sort of figure that out on your own as a family and see what works for you. I mean, you know, every child is different. Every individual is unique and everyone has their own ways of learning. And that's what homeschooling and unschooling is all about. It's about giving the child that space to find their way and, you know, figure out how they want to learn. And, you know, what, what pattern or what path is good for them. So there is no one size fits all. You know, it's completely different from family to family, from child to child. And that brings me to the end of this video. Stay tuned for more. We have some really amazing upcoming content coming up for you guys. And like, share, subscribe, do all that stuff. That's all for me. Bye.